Hello everybody, welcome back to Insanity Wins here. I'm your little host, the most Vriska the Shark Queen, with my two most famous cohorts in crime, Duquesne the Rabbit Ricor, and Marmar Bun Bun the Purple Hyena. I was forced into this. Ah, oh, shut up, bitch, you know you love it. Marmar said it is the me Marmar sexo sexo anal vagina. If anyone's ever wondered why we don't, uh... Why well, I don't monetize my videos? This. This is why. Well, that and also you swear more than both of us combined. Well, that and I also just don't give a flying shit. I figure if we get enough people together, I might open a Patreon. Maybe. But I don't care. I'm just here for the fun. I'm gonna go to scout. Uh, actually, I want to make it least- That day, in Monster Scouts, they teach you how to use the stars and trees bark to find your way when you get lost. Okay. Have you guys ever wanted to make a sculpture at least once in your life? I did make a sculpture. I never made a sculpture before. Yeah, I made a sculpture of a Pokeball. Marmar said I am a sculpture. It's right here somewhere. <laughs> made the Mr. Ball. On the internet. As a test coach leaves you in the middle of the internet, you easily get lost. Before you know it, you're watching the Spanish synchronized swimming team perform a routine based on Stairway to Heaven! And she's crying the stairway. And then Dio appears and slaps you on the booty and goes, Jojo! No, but yet. It wasn't me, it wasn't Jojo, who gave you your first kiss. It was I, Dio! You don't, you, oh, Duquesne. You don't earn any from watching such beautiful display of skill. Yes, skill. You slip away and link up with Milo. They're re- Hey, oh. hey. <laughs> it was the narrator here. Sorry, you. It was that Russ suddenly came down with a bad case or shut the fuck up. <laughs> you slip away and link it with Milo. They're reaping a baby koala today and they told you it'd be super cute. Oh yes, the poison. It Actually, I don't, how, I don't think poison would be very effective against koalas, considering that's all they eat. There you are, Risk. Come here. Come on. This adorable little soul won't harvest itself. I mean, seriously. It's better to harvest the soul from a koala. They are nasty little creatures on their own. Hello. I'm a fan of Milo. Oh, the fuck. Hold the fuck. Hold the fuck. Hold on. Hold 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 the fuck. Do you hold want me to tell fuck. you who that is or do you want to hold find out? Hold the fuck. Are you shitting me with this? Are you shitting my bricks? This is this is <laughs> fucking Oh my god. Holy fucking tits. What if I told you that oh, I'm not? Oh my god. What if I told oh, you god. we're not shitting off. bricks and I <sighs> and I've about pretty much pulled off this entire bottle of tequila? So, other than your alcoholism, mm -hmm. I, I got it, I got it, but I don't want to. Oh, you want to do this one? I think it's gone, Milo. It's me, your biggest and most youthful fan. I have all your social media albums. Hello, fellow kids. Oh, now imagine that meme with that old dude with the skateboard, like he was all like, That's exactly what I was going for. <laughs> oh, good. Sure you do, honey. Anyways, this koala. Camouflage. <laughs> that fools you. It was really me, Kessler Flush. You disguise instructor this whole time. He's a chameleon. Marmar said old man on the skateboard. That's Steve Buscemi for you. Yeah, no, that was Steve Buscemi. I know who you are, darling. I just thought you finally seen the light and joined the 
My, the my lovers. <laughs> That's because I fooled you with camouflage, and I'm here to teach you how to do the same. Yes, teach me. Teach me how to disappear from awkward situations. Like no, this one. thank you, my sweet, obvious lizard person. What kind of monster would I have been to hide in this timeless elegance from the world? A smart one? Heh, <laughs> you're taking your bad physical camouflage. But I want you to think outside the box that I had inside while doing camouflage. Isn't that what camouflage is? Hold on, he's doing something profound and possibly stupid. <laughs> oh, that was a strange growl. I'm taking back digital camouflage. If everyone at camp, you're the one who needs it most, and I'm the one to teach it to you. Camouflage myself? Online? Why would I ever want to do that? I have millions of devoted fans of my Monstergram. Ah, the more people to fool with your incredible online camouflage. Is he talking about getting a VPN? <laughs> By the way, today's sponsor! <laughs> I would have been a fucking perfect natural roll into it. If we had a sponsor for a VPN, yeah, that would be the most perfect. Yeah, is he talking about a VPN? By the way, today's sponsor is Nor Mar Mar said Lord Raid Mar Shadow Mar Legends. <laughs> Just to let you know, we don't have a sponsor. Out of yacht. I sponsor myself. I sponsored. Gingak. Yayum. He's got someone to help Marmar me. Out. I don't know where these idiots came from, but they keep crawling Marmar's out of my face. trash. Please help. I'm sorry, but Milo Belladonna was not born to be invisible. I mean, technically, I wasn't born at all. But you get the idea. Is this wiener doing a fucking. Twilight situation where they've lived for possibly millions of years and they just decided I'd like to be in high school the whole time. It's like, you're a fucking weirdo. Hey, tell us a Twilight. That's what I'm saying. It's a fucking dude. Twilight is just as bad. Like, I don't get. God damn, that story is so stupid. Just I'm a I'm a vampire that's hundreds of years old, and so to keep my identity secret. I stay as a high school student. I'm like, you look like you're fucking 19. No one's gonna ask questions if you work a job for like 10 years, pretend to die, and go somewhere else. This is why, like, this is why, like, uh, Vampire Cheerleaders, the webcomic, way better. I'm just, I'm just gonna point out. 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 He said he straight up said the rest of his family, all vampires, work normal jobs. But he's the only one who calls himself a special case that people might figure out that he doesn't age. Are you shitting me? You turd burglar. Again, this is why everyone should read Vampire Cheerleaders, the webcomic. It, it is way better written, written than Twilight and explains why the vampires in that story are, are always going to high school every 20 years. Dude, are you shit, dude? Come on. Come on. I'm not leaving you alone until you meet there are at least some situations where disguise yourself online is a good idea. Who? Oh, it looks like you're gonna have to step in here if you want to kill that koala before sundown. What's a kind of no e disguise? I go to our slash dragons fucking cars. Milo might be down for Jesus. Fucking Christ, Mar! How do you always manage to one up it? Well, I didn't even hear it, but I apparently just... Mar had said earlier this video was brought to you by Mar Mar's tits. I did not hear that. Well, I don't have my dry erase board right now, but I, do you want me to abridge it? No! Move on!
What's that? You want me to impersonate a celebrity who likely knows a powerful lawyer on retainer? Marmar said who would win our slash dragons fucking cars or our slash cars fucking dragons. I'm gonna have to go with the dragon fucking the car because dragon- Wait, his eyes turn red. His eyes, the heart, all of it, it went from a shade of like pink to red. That means he really- he's aggravated. No, no, he likes it. That's an amazing idea. But why don't you try it first? I still have an appointment with this baby koala. I mean, seriously, did you know that almost 90% of them have have chlamydia? You'd be happy to. This was your dumb idea, after all. You lead my own flaws. You need to work changing your display name on Twitter and Instagram. Can I, uh, can I... Can I be Ryan Reynolds official now? <laughs> if not Ryan Reynolds, my second choice is Robin Williams. Jesus fuck. In Christ, Mar. Mar. Oh. Buddy. It turned out that you're a really gifted Chris Hemsworth impersonator. You share relatable stories about raising three kids and being extremely hot. Well, I don't know how to be Captain America. You really feel yourself, then suddenly you get a DM from the real Chris Hemsworth. He says, you need to talk. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. You met with him in a local cafe a few hours later. He looks... Different than he did in Thor Ragnarok. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Wrong Chris. That's the Chris who plays Thor. I keep on forgetting there's like three Chris's in the Marvel Universe. Start to apologize for impersonating, but he stops you with a smile. No, no, he says. It's quite all right, you see. I am not the real Chris Hemsworth. My name is Ryan. I inherited the title from previous Chris Hemsworth. Just as you will inherit it from me. Does that mean I get to play Thor in the next few Marvel um, oh, stages? Oh no, hit the button. He was not the real Chris Hemsworth either. His name was Cumberbund. The real Chris Hemsworth has been retired for 15 years and is living like a king in Aruba. Aruba, Jamaica, go my pretty mama. Been a wild ride, but I'm ready to retire here. Take my social media passwords and my attractive muscles. Yay! I want Thor's hammer. Sweet deal. You run back to Milo to share your success. And also how I'm gonna be in the next Avengers movie. That's wonderful, darling. It's as if you stole the identity of your destiny. Well, since Chris Hemsworth is tall enough that you and Milo can impersonate him by sitting on each other's shoulders inside a trench coat. <laughs> God damn You have a great time high-fiving fans and filming Thor movies until another person there comes along to take up the mantle. It's all the stars really are just like everyone else, huh? You gain plus two charm and plus one fun. Well, let me take a walk through first. All right, Mar, where do you want to go? Do you want to go to the lake? Hang on, Mar. The woods. Oh, I guess you can't go to Scout HQ because I'm there. Marmar said I want to go to the Petronaki Arena from Star Wars Episode 2. Okay. Holy shit, she's going Super Saiyan! Another day at Camp Dome! Another day trying to survive a deadly battle royale game! Oh, I thought you were going to go like... Broly... Not a god... A devil... Marmar I'm a narrator. Said Why would I bring in Broly? I just chip out my ass. You managed to murder 10 people in 20 minutes. What a feat. That's one person every two minutes. 
The audience roars. This will certainly give you a lot of baldness. But wait, the camp dome shouldn't make you gain boldness, but charm. Even if that doesn't make sense, you want charm? You think quickly and make a fancy hat out of the guts of a corpse. Yonin says wild and grants you plus two charm. Much better. So is it a turban? I don't fucking know. You link with link up with Aravi to help her loot the bodies of the dozens of campers who have perished during today's camp games. Aw, oh, sweet. This one had like less chips. You guys seen any loot around here? Uh, another locket containing photograph of a family who will never see their son again. These campers are dropping the worst loot today. Sick. On the bright side, I've decided to take up figure drawing and these dead bodies are good practice. Check it out. This one's stiff, and this one's dark. Marmar uh, said, speaking of loot, this video is sponsored by Loot This Crate. is just a stick figure. Uh, this is just a stick figure with the words pretty dead where the face should be. <laughs> it's conceptual. Anyway, I'm bored. Want to go bug that hot bat lady posing for all those cameras? Oh. What? Sure enough, there's a young adult bat hybrid surrounded by cameras and wielding a very fancy looking longbow. You follow Aravi over to see what's up. Hey. Uh, hey. Who are you and why are you being interviewed in the camp dome? Is here. <gasps> Jojo face! You mean, you haven't heard of me? I'm Batness, friend of the people and sworn enemy of the Chancellor. Do we get the reference? Marmar said the Senate. Do you, the get, do you, do you get the, the do you get the reference, Duquesne? Marmar said she. Yes, I got the goddamn out. reference. What's the reference? I don't know. Something about burning birds and kids killing each other in a like game to the death. Huh? Marmar said uh, to kill a mockingbird. <laughs> Who's the chancellor? I read that. I actually had to read that book in high school. Oh, I know, it's Harry Potter. Must there was a lot of children killing propaganda. in that one. Yeah. You, you don't know who the Chancellor is? His disinformation is more powerful than I could have imagined, but with my bow, I'll... That bow seems kind of big for a small <laughs> bat. But... Hey, hey, that's a cool bow. I do archery too. It's kind of my thing. Last time I saw her with a bow, it was with that, like, freaking uh, forearm mounted crossbow. Trust me, I'm the protagonist. <laughs> no, you, no, sorry, you don't do archery. Archery is my thing, and I'm the protagonist, so. Did you hear that the bat said, I'm the protagonist? I, I heard. I also said, die. I'm the protagonist. What? I'm the protagonist, you nocturnal mammal piece of shit! Prepare to get stabbed! Repeatedly. And I stab him uh, 37 Eight, times. One. said, how do I stop this murder? <clears throat> hey, oh, Robbie. Didn't your therapist say that stabbing sometimes isn't the answer? I'm no expert, but I think this might be one of those times. Also, do you have, like, more lace but Button! Just hit it! Just count to ten, then you stab them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Man, being emotionally mature is hard. Aravi puts away her knife and pulls out her crossbow. <laughs> Here for it. Yeah, that's the uh, great idea. Beating her in an archery contest, showing once for all who the pro, pro tag really is. Oh, yeah. Beat her in an archery contest. That was my plan all along. Let's do that. <laughs> She was gonna murder the bad and, girl. And so the contest begins. Aravi shoots a bullseye, and then Batness splits her arrow with another bullseye, and then Aravi splits her arrow, and. Uh, unless Aravi can come up with a more impressive shot than repeated arrow splitting bullseyes, this contest is never gonna end. Yo, any ideas? What do you think, Mar? 
Forget, Forget the bullseye, look beyond mere appearances, and shoot the bull's heart. Shoot batting is so hard, the arrow hits her in the feelings. Well, I don't know what. Which one, Mar? I don't know what. Mar Mar said the bull's heart. I want to go non murder. Non murder? There it is. You whisper your idea in Aravi's ear, and she grins wickedly. MVP! <laughs> Way ahead of you, Mar Mar. She's uh, not. She was totally surprised by your idea. But she's pretending it was her idea to maintain a sense of control over the situation. Shut up, Hex! Hex, you know I hate it when you broadcast my thoughts and insecurities. Whatever, let's do this. Robbie loads her crossbow and lets an arrow fly. It sails through the air and buries itself through the fletching. In Morty the Minotaur's heart. Do you want to be Morty or do you want me to be Morty? I choose Morty. Okay. Oh, a critical hit. Yes! Mar -mar said critical hit! Crap. You're dead, you stupid sexy Minotaur. <gasps> no! I'm not! The only thing you've killed is the emotional baggage that was keeping me from declaring my love for badness. Not gonna lie, Deuce pretty fit. Huh? Wait, a second. Which arrows was I using? Ah, uh. oh, man! Arrows of love again? This is worse than that bear I shot started liking all my selfies on Instagram. Oh, boy. <gasps> you take it from here. I'm not doing that. Nope. <laughs> Get. Nope. 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 All you. Have fun. Be quiet. Mark, can you still see it or nah? Be quiet, minor supporting character. I'm about to tell this hypersexualized man, man bull hybrid why we can never be together, even though I can totally imagine fucking him. Kiss my statuesque glutes. And now I'm about to tell you that we must be together, despite your objections, because true love conquers all. And also, if I do not have sex four times a day, I will literally die. Oh, there you go, Duquesne. There's your husbando. This situation went from bad to worse. Am I still batness? Yes. <laughs> yes, I can feel my power growing. A forbidden romance only makes my makes the young adult protagonist stronger. Watch this. I mean, seriously, have you not seen Bucky? Will the forces of darkness rip us apart? Alas, Morty, though I can almost taste the sweat glistening off your exposed. Picks. It is too dangerous to pursue this relationship. Also, I don't know if I can trust you. If only I can ride a motorcycle off a cliff okay. and have your sparkling ass save me. Okay, I was gonna save this for tomorrow when I make that fancy gelatin for Easter. But fuck it, I need my chartreuse. Fuck it. I don't care. Drinking it. Alright, prepare to taste. Uh, a nature walk made by a bunch of French uh, monks. Fine, as long as it gets me hammered. Let's go. I'm already hammered. What's your excuse? Use a bitch. <laughs> he said, "Buddha, Buddha, 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 Buddha." I'm done. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> Okay, so I got to talking with uh, my lawyer, and he says if I don't at least sit myself up through one of these, uh, uh, what, what, what's it called when you help out the community, uh, community service at least once uh, every other week, um, I'm going back in the, uh, the no-no box. Only D. I. Osama can use that stand cry. Oh, yeah! So, that's, so yeah, the, my lawyer said if I don't at least do one of these community service games, uh, the judge is gonna rule back on my sentence. I'm gonna go back into the insanity box, and I'm not really feeling like being stuffed in a cardboard box. So let's go. I'll bring you crayons next time. 
These are all... These are all reasonable concerns, but counterpoint, I'm very horny at all times. It's not because he has huge horns on his head. Next time, I won't have any mercy. Okay, that's enough, you two. Morty, get out of here before I shoot you with the one of the arrows that makes your dick fall off. Ooh. I shall return. I am sorry, Batness, but my love of you is exceeded only by my love of not having my dick fall off. Goodbye. I'll see you back at camp, rival camp. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda don't want my dick to fall off either. Okay. Yes! Even better! Painful breakups only feed my angst. Thank you, person who name I have not even bothered to remember. Also... I feel like we should just went with the murder. Oof, you're the real curse here. Fuck! Her wife isn't shooting and threatening to shoot people solving this Mar -Mar for me. Said I don't it always like solves her. everything. Thanks a lot for the shitty idea, Marmar. -Mar. Yeah, Marmar. -Mar. Uh, thought on this. I don't think she would have killed her. I think it would have just hurt her feelings. You try to protest that this isn't your fault, but Aravi's <laughs> loading up an arrow from a quiver labeled Ants with Guns. You flee the scene, leaving behind two boldness and one fun. Hey, how far are we in the episode? Uh, how, uh... We're... 27 minutes in, so... Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also... Insanity wins, bitches. We're back. I need a drink.